Nice. Great. Well, so that's that's kind of the scenario. But you know, we wanted to show a couple of extra things because uh, you know we we have all this great thing where we have the traffic and we have the transit information, and we're trying to make the whole transport launch. But you know, that's doesn't that's not necessarily uh, enough. Why don't we go a little bit further and really build this up to make a proper uh, a bigger transport launch? And so we've added a few extra pieces. For example, Derek's an avid biker. We've actually worked with the national parks. Uh, in Singapore, and we've got this maplet here that lets us see all the biking paths all over Singapore. So here if I click on one of these park connectors, this is all the park connector routes. Uh, this is part of Google Maps being a platform where we can actually extend the information on it, and these links go off to the National Parks website where you can read more about the routes and the amenities and so on that are on the, on the particular thing, or even you can click and see about the, the, uh, the various parks as well. So those are all, there's one of the pieces that help make this a transport lock. We have bikes, now we have, as, as, in addition to walking and MRT and so on. Um, we've also got traffic incidents. This is also data from the LTA where uh, QI, Quantum Inventions, has added uh, extra data for it, has, has processed it for us. So we can see here there's been a breakdown on the ECB nine minutes ago. This is all live data. And we've got a bunch of construction. It's a little bit hard to see here, but the particular icon for the digging man is Singaporeanized because we gave him yellow boots. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, must have in Singapore. We've also got a set of information. All of this data is the accurate and up-to-date uh, information for ERPs. Hold it up. So what we see here is, based on the times, you can see what the costs are going to be for starting from now until later today. And this, all of these things are the live and up-to-date ERP information. Well, okay, last couple things. Let's just uh, show a couple more neat things that we've got that work with the uh, transit information. So, a few extras. For example, if, if you are wanting to find out, can I make my flight to Changi Airport, that say leaves at seven o'clock, I can actually do a special query. It leaves from, say, Raffles Key, so this might be a, a business person that's, that's planning to leave. And so here we've got it set up with these show options to have it arrive, or actually I should change this to arrive at 7 a.m. Can it be done? Will I make my flight? The answer is yes. If I leave at 5.51 a.m., I'll get to the airport by about 6.50 a.m. So there's a nice little thing where we can do the, the times for it. Uh, other examples of, of nice things we've got. Um, we do handle the LRT, included in the data here, here's the trip from Chua Chukang going around, so the Heartlanders are definitely covered as well. And some examples here where we can show multiple routes to get the same simple trip. You want to just go from Bugis here, so Haji Lane down to Sri Mariaman Temple, so there's a, a nice tourist trip. And you could take this bus here, which would be the 80, or the 61 or the 197 are all going to apply roughly that route. So on your mobile phone, you can just check and hop on any of those that are going to take you where you want to go. Okay, final things, one more thing. So there's the driving. So it's important that you know all of this handles all of Singapore. But Google Maps is a global product, and so we can go beyond the shores. So suppose you want to go for a trip. Maybe you want to go shopping in Singapore. Maybe you want to go even further. So let's do a driving trip from, say, Orchard Road to Jalan Sultan Ismail in, in Kuala Lumpur. No problem. We can show you how to drive that. Even you get more ambitious, let's go all the way to Sukhumvit Road. We can drive this entire thing. Here's a 23 hour and 43 minute trip. Drive all the way. Uh, unfortunately, there's no public transit uh, routes to take you that way. But uh, a couple, the final neat thing for the uh, driving directions, if I zoom in a little bit more, you can see this. So the driving directions are actually calculated live and are draggable. So here's the route, it's sending me on this particular, um, this particular causeway, but I can drag this route and change it dynamically. So now it's actually sending me on the other bridge as we go. And I can change, pack in extra little places as we go, all, all live. Great, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is the demo that I wanted to share with you for transit, for traffic, and the entire Singapore transport solution. Thanks very much.